Hi, this is Craig Hutchinson with NewYorkRebels.com. Supremacy in the East is up for grabs tonight at Red Bull Arena as the first place New York Red Bulls prepare to take on the second place Columbus Crew. Apart from three defensive lapses, do you think that was a much improved performance? Yeah, I'm happy that we uh, could show after two defeats, that we could show some energy, uh, set the standard on effort. There were great uh, numbers of ch chances we create. That was probably our best game so far. Yeah, and it makes it hurt a little bit more. Um, you know, after the game, we got into the locker room and just talked about, you know, this is probably our best uh, game of the season, you know, possession-wise and creating chances. I think we were a bit unfortunate with, with the post a couple times, crossbar with Juan Pablo's free kick, and uh, we held the ball pretty good tonight. So uh, aside from the two goals that we gave in the first half when we got our foot off the gas pedal a little bit, I think uh, it was a good game and it definitely hurts. Um, we know it's our third one in a row, uh, so we just want to bounce back from this. Uh, we have Juventus on Sunday, which will be a good game, so try and um, take our minds off this one, even though it stings a little bit. I mean, obviously you want to do better. You would have wanted to win this game because it was a very important game, a big game for us. Uh, I think there's some positives. Uh, we still have a number of you know, players out, and I think we should be happy in a way that you know, we definitely put a better performance. Coach highlighted it was uh, three defensive lapses that kind of let in the three goals tonight. As a centre defender, what can you do to kind of pick yourself up from that? Watch game tape, figure out some stuff, and uh, you know, that's, that's the life of a defender. You know, if you win, it's the uh, it's the goal scorer, the forwards reason why you won. If you lose, it's the defender's reasons. You know, and that's what we've all signed up for. So, uh, you know, go home. Like I said, go home, watch game tape, and uh, figure it out, and come back more determined next time. Started the second half with the same personnel, but the shape and positioning seemed a little bit different. What did you try and adjust at half time? No, we went over to play with the back three. I don't think that many saw that. We played Seth Stanley in a holding role, so we were three central midfield players and get got Jeremy Hall and uh, Dan Lee Borman as two wing players. So uh, it started okay, and I think the 10 minutes we controlled the game, but they were, of course. Uh, sat back and just waiting for counters. You were very lively when you came on the field. What were coach's instructions before you were sent out there? Coach told me to play forward, never come back for the ball, just go for it all the time. Tony Charney looked very lively when he came on and got his first goal for the club tonight. How did you rate his performance? Yeah, he made an impact. He made a difference definitely when he when he arrived. He drove the ball from box to box. He was always in the box for crosses and I think we need him as a player, an attacking central midfield player, not just uh, sit and hold. But what do you think the team needs to work on now to build on the performance, to make sure that performance turns into a result for the next game? Well, I think everything, like Coach said, playing forward, turn and turn to find the forwards. One of the leaders and veterans on the team, what can you do to make sure none of the younger guys kind of start getting a little bit negative mentally with a losing streak like this? You know, it's easy to come, become complacent in results like this, you know, it's the championship and, and, and the quality teams that get through it somehow. And uh, we're going to show, it's going to show what type of team we are, you know, going forward now. And uh, I hope that, you know, we, we do a little things a little differently than they've been done around for the past teams here in New York. So. We'll see. You know, there's a number of games coming through. And uh, as I said, there's a number of players out. We need to get some of them healthy because, you know, uh, we got to, you know, bounce back. I and mean, we have, you know, the obviously the Juventus game, which a majority of players have to be involved on it. Then we have the Cup, then we have New England, and then Chivas, and then we have the break. So before we go to the break, we got to make sure that, you know, we pick up some points and hopefully, you know, get, you know, some of the players healthy again. Third consecutive defeat for the team and all three goals tonight came from defensive mistakes. 
The team talked about after the game how going forward it was the best performance of the season and it's hard to disagree. Multiple chances created, three shots off the woodwork was much better than what we saw against Seattle. The team now has two games to prepare for the next league game where hopefully they can figure out how to get it right on the field.